social entrepreneur. We are planning to run it weekly during the semester time. So hopefully if you are interested and if you consider it's beneficial for you, you are going to be here once a week or even more. Uh, I'm working at Brooks. I have a full-time job and this I'm doing more like extracurricular activity because I'm really passionate about it. And uh, what are you going to get out of it? Maybe to get the chance to have your own project, to work on it, to be challenging. You can add it on your CV as well. So this is going to help you for employability in case you want to either run your own business or to get a job later on. Right. And we have a very remarkable consultant today. We invited Kat Young to have the seminar. So let's welcome her. So, good evening, ladies and gents, and, and thank you for that lovely warm welcome. As um, Cherry said, my name is Kat Young, and I uh, run a digital marketing agency close by in a town called Tame. So, any of you who are local might know it, it's just out that way. Um, and as a uh, agency we do a lot of training and coaching and mentoring of businesses who want to make money online and then couple that with the desire that we have to help young people um, get a decent job when they graduate um, I thought that this seminar or this series of seminars would be an ideal place for me to share some of my knowledge with you so what we're trying to do tonight is to give you an opportunity as Cherry said to create something that's yours that either is just a quick win, um, make a bit, a few bucks, help with uh, pay for your, uh, uh, to, to help fund your s studies, uh, maybe a second income, maybe your own income, or if you really want to take it seriously, this could be the beginning of an online business for you. Because the way we've shed the, the excuse me, the way we've created the course is tonight is an introduction is we're going to show you lots of things, we're going to expand your mind, make sure that you're aware of all the things you can do online that will help make you money. And then we're going to ask you to focus in a little bit on the ones that work best for you. So when you leave tonight, you should have um, in your mind, in your notebooks, in, in, in your back pocket, the ability to go and make a few bucks, make some money, be fantastic. But then, if you come back and sign up to the rest of the course, what we'll do is we'll teach you how to do that in a sustainable way. We'll teach you how to get more and more people interested in whatever it is that you've decided to sell, to get more and more traffic to your website so that you get more income from your advertisers. Whatever you decide is right for you, we can help you make that into something proper, sustainable, uh, achievable. And, and you can stick it on your CV and you're going to make money along the way. So it's fantastic. Tonight we're going to understand the, the, the different types of ways of making money, which suits you best. Um, and then the rest of the course is, is this, this turning it into a viable business. The best thing about this course though, is that it's free. So you don't have to spend anything in order to start making money other than a bit of time. Now that is one word of warning, I'm afraid. There is no magic bullet. There is no, I'm not standing here saying, if you sign up to this one website, I can guarantee you a million pounds. It's not gonna happen. To be honest, if it were to happen, I wouldn't be the one stood here talking to you. I'd be out there earning a million pounds. So this isn't a quick fix, magic, uh, wave of wand to make lots of money. You do have to put some effort in. But, we recognise that effort. So yes, you get some income, but if you sign up to the whole course, what we're also going to do is reward the people who can make the most money using any of these methods with a £200 bonus. And that's for each month of the course. So you have a chance of earning an extra £600 by attending a free course put on by the university. So I, to be honest, I'm partly excited. I wish I was a student because I'd be on that side. Earning money. I wish I was too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell you, 
But I should don't tell all your friends. That's the downside. They're not going to tell anyone. <laughs> no, I don't think so at all. them to come along either. But what we won't be doing today is teaching you any of the skills. There are some of the ways of making money, which is you selling a skill that you've got. Either you can make things, um, maybe you're a graphic designer or a writer or a translator. Those are things that you can sell. And I'm now going to cover off some of the ways that you can use online uh, portal sites to sell your services. But I'm going to have to assume that you can do that, that you are a photographer, that you are a graphic designer, that you are a writer. Um, we just don't have the time to cover off those sorts of skills in a course like this. Okay, so I mentioned a little bit about who I was at the beginning. Um, and just to also uh, sort of explain uh, why I've got the experience to stand here. So I've been training since 1995. It seems like forever ago, I should imagine. To some of you. I actually learned when I was at university, I was at University of Birmingham, and I was taught the skills of training from the uh, Guild of Students, the student union there. And I started by helping students uh, we, with time management, and leadership, and team building, and all those sorts of soft skill courses. And it was with exactly the same purpose as this, which is to make sure that your CVs are as, as full and as rich as possible when you go out in, into the workplace. And then I took those skills into IT when I graduated. I got myself a job in IT. Um, and then I kept that going. I was a, a customer services manager. Um, I kept training my, my team. I had a team of 30, constantly giving them new skills, lots to do with customer services and telephone skills. Um, and then when I set up my own business, instead of just doing things for people, I wanted to keep the idea of, of, of education and, and passion for me knowing something and wanting everybody else know it as well. So it's that, that desire to share with you what I know. And having said that, what my style of will be is, is usually very interactive. Once we get into the course, you'll be doing a lot of the work. I'll be asking you some questions. I'll be asking you to think about it. I'll be asking you to do. Um, but I've got knowledge and experience, so you're more than welcome to pick your brains at any stage. Any questions you've got, either shout them out, and if you don't have them off, please do the session. Check on me in the breaks. So, Joe mentioned that we've got a break coming up. So, the, the format for this evening is quite straightforward. Um, we're going to run through all the, all the options available to us for making money using the internet. And then we'll have a break about 7 o'clock. Food and drink has been provided, another benefit of attending. And then we'll see after the break, for those of you who can stay, which I hope is most of you, we will then look at some of the, um, the ways of uh, assessing which ones are right for you based on um, really a sort of mini marketing plan. Have we got anyone here as a marketing or business and marketing person? Excellent. So you all know what I'm talking about. It's a sort of bastardised version of a SWOT analysis. But it's just a way of asking some questions to get you thinking about what you can do, who's going to buy it from you, why they're going to buy it from you. These are important questions for you to be thinking about. Because to be successful, you're going to have to know what you're doing, who you're doing it with, how much time you can put into it, those sorts of uh, questions. And then um, I'm also going to share with you some of the tools that we use when we're assessing whether or not to embark upon a business venture. Because some of the things that, if any of you are not familiar with running a business, things you've got to watch out for, the hidden costs. So your time is a cost. There will be some of these things that we think about that might have some fees attached. You might have to print off some leaflets, some business cards. You might need to do some um, mass mail outs. There are things you might need to do in order to generate more income for yourselves. But you should measure those costs. And against it, you measure your income. Only allowed to spend your profit. So if you spend your income, where are your costs coming from? Well, if you have that profit, and that's it. So by the end of today, I hope to send you over a bit of that.